Today, we're going to be talking about everybody's favorite topic, box sets. Box sets, Larry. And I have a, cool. a number of box sets, as I, as I know yeah. you do as well. Love box sets. They're great collector's items. Yep. Um, but before we go to box sets, Lair, what have you been listening to this week? As the timing would have it, I've been listening to something I picked up on Record Store Day, of course. Nice. And I got to be honest with you. I didn't realize how good this was going to be. This is Bill Evans. Everybody digs Bill Evans. And quite frankly, after listening to this album, it's correct. Everybody digs Bill Evans. This is um, Bill Evans, of course, on piano, Sam Jones on bass, Philly Joe Jones on drums. And quite frankly, that's a classic trio in anybody's jazz, jazz book. And uh, I've had and I've listened to some other Bill Evans before. But I got to tell you. I put this on the turntable and it freaking sings to my heart. It is so wonderful. The keyboards are so clear and beautifully played. It is just, if you like jazz at all, just go get the freaking vinyl and have it and play it and smile. Well, I have been listening to lots of things, of course, but um, Super Tramp. Crime of the Century, Mobile Fidelity. Interesting thing about this one, it sounds incredible. It's sure. a half speed master. It's one of the, um, in, in this particular album, is number five of the Mobile Fidelity. So this was 1978. Um, you know, and it's funny, you look at the vinyl and it's really thin vinyl. We're not used to like, like super thin vinyl like that. We're used to our sure. 180 or even 200 gram. Right. But man, for thin vinyl, I don't know how they pulled this off. This thing has some really super bass response. Mid ranges are clear. Highs are wonderful. This is one of the reasons we listen to music on vinyl. You know, Todd, we, we don't need to go into it here, but this is something that we should probably talk about on another another session. I is, agree. You know, what's the difference? You know, um, if, if that sounds so good and it's not a heavy, heavy, thick piece of vinyl, you know, what's... What's the deal there? You know, why do some sound better because they're on thicker? Why do they make a big deal because we're getting thicker? Is it just the stability of the vinyl and it's going to hold up better over time? Yeah, uh, you, maybe, know, you know, I, I agree. Maybe we can have a guest or something on Larry yeah. that can yeah. maybe give us more information. I mean, yeah. you know, we know our vinyl, but, you know, I, when it comes to composites and uh, all the, the, the chemistry behind it, well, not so much. Right. Are you listening to anything else, Lair, this week? E, or? e equals MC squared. That's, you know, that's, I'll tell <laughs> I you that. control all delete. And I know so. that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm listening uh, to my Deep Purple, oh. um, the Machine Head reissue. Uh, so uh, I just got my turntable working again. So I'm running a bunch of the stuff that I haven't gotten through all of my record store day vinyl yet. But the nice. Deep Purple was one of the first things I wanted to pop on there. And oh, uh, that's. Just a, Isn't it's it? just a great album. And one of my favorite songs on it is Never Before. That's got some really good drum work, singing, uh, vocals, Ian Gian, and uh, and guitar, of course. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, and then the other thing I'm listening to is uh, Opeth, right? the This is the Damnation album. This is a rare one to find. It's the special edition, 180 gram. Yep. Um, if you it. go to Discogs, you're going to pay some big money for this. Um it was a very limited release. Uh, I love this album. It sounds incredible. You put it on, the bass response is tight. I've got this on CD as well, but I will tell you that um, once you put this on, it's a two disc. It should only fit on one, but they've mastered this in a way that the grooves are really far apart. So it gives a real, real clear definition. Bass response is tight. A lot of good silent passages. It's a beautiful thing. If you can get a copy of, of this and you happen to find one out in the wild, definitely pick it up. So, Lair, box sets. We love them. We really love them. Sure. Um, but let me ask you something. What are some box sets that you kind of wish you had that you had missed out on at, at any time? This is going to sound terrible. Yeah. There's not a lot that oh. I wish I had that I don't. But... As you and I discussed earlier, there is one that I did not get my paws on, and uh, oh, I could I could slap myself 
for not getting it. And that's the Stephen Wilson Yes remixes on oh, vinyl. You know? And that, Larry, it's funny you bring that up. And we do not rehearse any of this ahead of time, just saying. Larry and I <laughs> like to surprise each other. That just happens to be one of the box sets that I'm featuring today is the Stephen Wilson remixes for Yes. Got, uh, topographic Oceans, uh, Relayer, and we can see all that stuff. Yep. Um, it's got, you know, five of their, what I would consider, they're certainly their best, Fragile, can't go yep. wrong there. Yeah. The Yes album. Mm -hmm. um, all of those, absolutely wonderful. I can't even say enough about the sound. Sound quality is excellent. I mean, if you happen to see one of these in the wild and it's reasonably priced, do not pass it up. Do not pass it up. But, you know, Larry, there's a lot of box sets out there, and I've seen them. I mean, this is one of your more, I think, reasonable box sets uh -huh. there's some box sets out there they got a little bit of everything in there i mean crazy and i know you said you had you had one that was like it had everything in it um I mean, what do you do with that well let me tell you something this is the yes union 30 live uh suitcase i'm gonna call it <laughs> <laughs> now the god's honest truth is this thing is freaking awesome Okay, this is a collectible piece that uh, cannot be beat. All right, that's that's let's just get that out of the way. Number one, um, it, it comes in a flight case, these are sprayed and paid individually. They have stickers that were placed on them by hand, so they're all one of a kind inside. And I'm not gonna, I'll open it up, but I'm not gonna bring everything out. Um, but inside here, there's a it's a limited number. They're all numbered. I have number 1158. And in here, they have a reproduction of the uh, tour guide. They have guest passes, reproductions, patches, stickers, posters, uh, everything. Yes. And then in addition to that, this thing um, has... Uh, 24 CDs, 24 CDs and six DVDs. Now, <laughs> the idea of this box set and the reason for it is the 30th anniversary of the Yes Union Tour. And I'm not sure if everybody knows what the Yes Union means, but um, after a while, after Yes formed and started to grow, some members started to splinter off into Anderson, Buford, Wakeman, Howe, and then uh, other members stayed with Yes. Uh, so there were kind of uh, offshoots of each of Yes. And um, the record company said, hey, why don't we get all these musicians together from Anderson, Buford, Wakeman, Howe, and Yes, put them together, use their great musicianship, and have them make an album. So they did, which is a miracle, right? In and of itself. <laughs> they got together, they, they cut an album, but because they, they kind of rushed it, the album was so-so. It was not received critically, wonderfully, or anything like that. And it was so-so. It was, it was less than the sum of the parts. However, they toured. They did a tour together. One tour. That was it. One tour. And this is yeah. everybody that's ever yeah. played with Yes. So, so. The whole thing. And you can watch some of the, some of the tour was captured, well, in the box set. I have six DVDs, so, you know, <laughs> right there. But there's also some of it on YouTube, and I think there was a documentary showing it. And it's quite fantastic. And as they started on their tour, the mu their musicianship and their talent started to really just come up to the top. And the songs that they were playing on the one album that they made that were just so-so came to life live. And um, so the music there is fantastic. But this is the thing, Todd. I, I ask, I would ask anybody that buys a box set that has all these extras. Yeah. First time you open it up, you're like, hey, look at all this crap. <laughs> wow. <laughs> right? Yeah. After you do that and it, you put it aside, how often are you opening that box set to look at all that crap anymore? No, never, that's a good point. Probably never. And you know yeah, what? Yeah, I mean, I, and then do you really want to like stick all the things on your wall? Do you want to put the posters up or do you want to keep them for collectors? Or, right. I mean, all that stuff is neat. And I think it certainly contributes to the value of 
of the box set because they can be quite pricey. And you know um, what? If somebody right, is though. opening those box sets and looking at all that little stuff in there, yeah, get a life. <laughs> <laughs> Well, look, I mean, if you have friends over and they have no idea and you break all that crap up, they're like, this is awesome. I Um, open it up. I open my box sets up to take the music out and play the music. Yeah, me too. You know, I have one here, Larry, that I actually have, I just bought recently. You know, we talk about limited. Are they limited? I mean, some box sets are limited. Yours, they're the yes box set. I highly doubt with the road case and all the, the DVDs and CDs and the numbered, uh, slip in there i doubt highly that they're going to make a whole bunch of those so i would think that's probably limited i thought when i bought this one um that it was going to be a you know kind of a limited thing but in fact it's not and uh this was released uh it's got a number it is numbered so i'm assuming that maybe it's still yet to sell out um but this is an incredible box set this is the Jimi hendrix electric lady land Nice. And here you've got, um, and I, this is what I love. You've got the making of Electric Lady Land, which I haven't even opened this yet. Um, and it's got Eddie Kramer and the 5.1 surround sound mix of the Electric Lady Land album. I love this album. It's great. Um, and then here's the cool thing. A lot of Jimmy's lyrics in there, handwritten, right, you know, copied or cut co- uh, uh, photos right out of the book. And this is cool stuff to sit and listen to. Highly recommended. You know, I love Jimi Hendrix. And yeah. then in there, you know, you get, am I a huge fan of demo sessions and outtakes and things? And well, it depends, right? Yeah. Obviously, you get the full album, but you also get the outtakes, the demos, and all the extra goodies um, that come along with it. You know, this whole entire album, it's all outtakes and things that were probably, um, you know, rare takes and, and minutes that they were able to remaster and put into an LP. This is actually really good um, for, for outtakes. And then, of course, they threw an extra gimme in there, which was the Live at the Hollywood Bowl uh, album. Very so nice. was this cheap? No. And you can buy it on Amazon still. Uh, yeah. I don't just don't know how many is left over. But, I mean, as far as box sets go, this is this is pretty cool. Do you, do you have, like, a prized box set? I mean, something that, you know, they wouldn't be able to rip that out of your dead cold hands. Um, I know I have one. Ah, uh, yes. Deep Purple Made in Japan. Beautiful. This is um, one of the best live albums ever recorded. And the original release of Made in Japan, um, it was uh, originally, I think, a three-night engagement in Japan. And the original release, what they did was they took the best cuts of the songs from different evenings and put them on one album. So um, what this box set does is it gives you the full three-night concert in its entirety and a whole uh, fourth of just encores. And in this box set, which is, this is, this is my baby, you know, this is, it comes with all sorts of cool stuff. This is a 45 of Smoke on the Water that has the original um, uncut version, which is not the one you heard on the radio uh, Mm. in here, also has uh, a press release of the concert. Uh, Once again, you know, all sorts of fun stuff. It actually comes with a hardcover book um, Mm. with all sorts of colored pictures and everything in it that is really, really beautiful. And then it comes with CDs and vinyl of of the concerts. Um, Very nice. That's my baby. The one box set that you couldn't uh, drag out of my uh, hands. Yeah, I'm, I'm going back to it. I can't help myself. It's this, and it's incredible. It uh, yeah. you just can't say enough about it. Yeah. Um, but what do we do, Larry? I mean, so we buy a box set, and, you know, in the case, you got five of uh, Yes's albums, immaculately remastered and remixed uh, by Stephen Wilson. Yeah. What do we do with, with all these? The original We've stuff. Got, yeah, we got the yeah. Fragile. I've got the Yes album. I, yeah. I've got Close to the Edge. I think it depends. I think it depends, right? Um, in the case of the Deep Purple, um, the original live album in Japan is a classic. And so I'm not getting rid of that. Yeah. Um, in the case of the Yes albums, they're individually 
better versions than the older ones. So I think in that case, I'd be okay with letting the older ones go and having the new remasters. But that's that's just me. That's how I would look at it, you know? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I do consider myself a collector. I, I, You know, I'm not always necessarily concerned, even though we've brought up a couple of times about, you know, how much something is worth and all that. It's yep. not the worth, the dollar amount that's put on it. It's more of the, it's just having good quality vinyl or a CD. It, yep. To me, having the best sounding uh, pressing, whether that be, you know, whatever media it is, to me, that's what's important. So, sure. I mean, look, will I go out and spend all the money on box sets all the time? Probably not. Um, yep. But when I see a good one, and usually you're the one that does this to me, You'll come up to me and say, Todd, you just can't live without this. I'm like, Larry, I can't. <laughs> and then you go, no, you can't look at it. And then I, and that happened just recently with the Deep Purple box set, yes. um, which yeah. you and I both bought. And I got to tell you, um, again, that awesome. is awesome. Yeah. So it's neat that these guys get the, uh, the master tapes. Uh, and we're talking not just the master two track um, tapes. We're talking about the whole tape. Where they can actually sit down and uh, you know, Todd, and remix I, it. I don't think there's a right or wrong answer to 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 the question you posed. I think when you buy a new box set, you know what you you already know in your head what you want to do with the other stuff, right. and that's the right answer. If the other stuff is now just taking up space, then get rid of it, sell it, trade it in. Yeah. But if it still means something to you, then keep it. That, you know that's. Go with yeah, what your I, body, go with what you, you feel, you know? I totally agree, Larry. Hey, man, go with what you feel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> so, look, Larry, we've got a lot more great videos coming up. We'll finish this one up today, box sets. Yep. I mean, we just scra we scratched the surface on box sets. There's a lot to be talked about. There's other videos out there that, that talk about box sets, but... And this is the way Larry and I feel about box sets. We we buy them, we enjoy them, we buy them because there's something special about them, Thank and um, and it's exciting. And most of all, for the most part, they sound better. And, and in they're some usually cases. expensive, yes, so they we are. buy them on paydays. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we buy them on this day. <laughs> oh, look at you! Oh, Larry, you're nuts. All right, like, <laughs> subscribe, leave comments, lots of comments. That's right. And we will see you in, uh, in about a week with our next video. And we've got lots of fun stuff coming up, don't we, Larry? Everybody's yeah, going to love some of this stuff. We're not going to let the cat out of the bag. We're going to keep you on. And make sure that you, you certainly subscribe to the channel so you can see all this again soon. So like and comment. Thank you, everyone. Like, comment. You. See you later. Bye.